What's up, Zaku Squad? Today I want to tell you all about the brand new contest that has just begun. If you guys didn't see the announcement over on the USA Gundam TV channel, Adam and I have unveiled the newest contest there. And if you guys aren't watching that channel, I would highly recommend it. Adam and I do live streams there uh, every two weeks. Adam is the owner of USA Gundam Store and the founder, and we answer you guys' questions and do a giveaway every uh, episode as well too. So I mean, check that out. Subscribe if you feel so inclined. But that's just USA Gundam TV here on YouTube. But if you missed that, I'm here to tell you guys all about the new contest and also give you guys some more details about that as well too. So everything will be laid out clearly for you guys in this video. It will be a little long because there's a little bit, a lot to go over, of course, but I want to let you guys know in as much detail as possible so that, you know, hopefully you can take home one of the prizes. So on that note, let's just get right into it. And as you can see by the title of this video, uh, this is going to be a 30 Minutes Missions themed contest. So what we're going to be looking for from you guys is seeing a lot of creativity and also execution when it comes to some really awesome custom 30 Minutes Missions builds from you guys. So for the first section of this video, I just want to talk to you guys about what we're going to be looking for, for from you guys exactly for the contest. Uh, then we'll go over the judging, kind of how the judging is going to go, that's kind of related. And then we'll talk about the prizes and then finally how to enter. So make sure you guys watch and pay attention to all the details so that it can, again, better help you guys to, in your uh, quest to finish highly in the contest. So yes, this is going to be 30 Minutes Missions themed and we are going to be limiting you guys to only using 30 Minutes Missions parts. So there is going to be two main categories though. So there's going to be a painted and an unpainted category. So even if you guys don't paint, you can still enter in the unpainted side and the focus of the judging is going to be a little bit different obviously between the two different categories. Uh, but we wanted this to be a contest where as many of you guys can enter as possible and hopefully there'll be plenty of you guys entering. The really great thing about 30 Minutes Missions kits is that even if you don't paint, there's a lot of customization that you can do uh, just because so many of the parts are compatible and so many of the kits are available in multiple different colors. So even if you have a kit that that's available in a few different colors. You can mix and match parts to make a custom color scheme even without paint. It's fantastic. So what we're looking for with this is basically kind of GBWC rules. If you guys are familiar with GBWC, uh, if you've ever entered before, just kind of if you know generally what it's about or kind of what the entries usually look like, that's what we're looking for with this. So we're looking for creativity uh, and execution of that. Like I said, those are kind of the main things. Obviously in the painting side, we'll also be looking at your painting quite a bit. That'll be very important. And on the clean side, as well as the weather side as well too, we'll be looking and really focusing in on just the cleanliness of the build so even if you're not painting the kit or even if you are either way uh, we'll be looking at our all the nubs all cleaned up any sanding done anything like that mold lines even on the unpainted side we will be paying attention to mold lines and things like that fortunately most of the kits don't really have a lot in the way of seam lines on them so you're pretty pretty have it pretty safe on that so there's not a whole lot of that to worry about but there are plenty of mold lines and things like that so you know make sure you're paying attention to this stuff and so a few things just to clarify, if you guys want to do dioramas, it's okay. If you want to use multiple kits, it's okay. So if you want to have like a diorama with uh, multiple kits fighting each other, that's all okay. Just remember, anytime you're doing something like that, it's uh, you're taking a risk. So I mean, if you make a really cool build and then put it in a diorama and the diorama is just kind of eh, it's going to weigh your whole scoring down a little bit. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You know, if you feel very confident in your diorama abilities, then go for that. Or, you know, otherwise just sticking to just the single kit will also work fine so it's just kind of open to whatever you guys want to do now some people I'm sure are going to ask about using other different option parts like Bandai option parts or Kurubuke option parts things like that if it's just little bits uh, for this we're just only gonna stick to just only using 30 minutes missions there's a ton of different 30 minutes missions parts available so anything that comes packaged with uh, 30 minutes missions branding on it is stuff that you can use if we see anything in your build that's not 30 minutes missions then it's going to be docked for that if not disqualified so just pay attention to that now some people are also going to ask i'm sure about 3d printing and or scratch building 3d printing will not be allowed for this contest as obviously that's not 30 minutes 30 minutes missions parts as far as any scratch building you can't scratch build uh, any like uh, parts or like pieces of armor or anything like that that said you can use plot plate for adding small details. So if you want to add a few little details to your kit, things like that, you can use small bits of plot play uh, or like extending limbs or extending joints or something like that, you can do that with plot play. But we do not want you guys to use uh, plot play to like build a whole new head or something like that or build an entire shield out of plot play or something like that. You can of course also use the uh, runner, <laughs> which could be quite useful. So, you know, cutting up the runner that's included with the kit and using that to make like a 
like a pole arm or something like that, you can do that as well too. So if you need to use the pieces of runner for connection pieces or something, you're able to do that. As long as it comes packaged with a 30 minutes missions brand logo on it, then it's safe to use in the contest. And also small little bits of plot plate. So, okay, hopefully that's clear for everyone. If you have any questions about any of this stuff along the way, of course, just feel free to ask and I'll clarify that for you guys. So as for the judging, like I said, well, it's gonna come down to like on the unpainted side, we're gonna be taking a look very closely at just the build cleanliness. So like I said before, nubs, things like that. Uh, also, just the creativity of the build, uh, kit bashing or, you know, customizing with different option parts and weapons, things like that. How well does it work together? You know, having some big monstrosity of a build that just ends up looking very weird and ugly. You know, we, we want it to be something still that's aesthetically pleasing. And also your posing and photography will also play a good role in this one as well too. So pay attention to that. Uh, on the painted side, it's uh, basically all the same, except there's also the painting, which we'll be paying attention to. So painting, weathering, all that's kind of going into the same thing. And again, if you're using any sort of diorama or vignettes or any base, that's also going to be included in with the judging as well too. So considering that this is uh, basically like GBWC style rules and judging for this, what we're going to be doing for the judges is having a couple of GBWC veterans for our guest judges this time. So we're not only going to have uh, paint pusher himself, Win I'm Wong. We're also going to have Kevin Zhang in there as well too, uh, US GBWC champion before. So both very uh, amazing modelers, very well qualified. I'm very thankful to both of them for agreeing to be guest judges for this contest. So thank you guys both. And you all should be pretty excited about having a couple of really amazing judges uh, to help out with this contest. So that's very cool. And then of course, Adam at US Second Store and myself will also be taking a look at the entries as well too. So let's get down to the prizes then and let you guys know what you stand to win. So there is going to be two main winners, a first and second place winner in each category. So a total of four main winners that will receive prizes from USA Gundam Store. And then there is also going to be a fifth bonus prize as well too, which is coming from our friend Joel at True Gumpla. He's providing that. So thank you, Joel, for that as well too, for his contribution. So that'll be the fifth prize. For the first place prizes, uh, we're gonna do it like we did it before. So if you win first place, you'll have a choice of either the A prize or the B prize. And then if you win second place, you'll have a choice between either the C prize or the D prize. So here's what the prizes are. A prize is going to be the Master Grade Barbato Gundam and then plus USA Gundam Store branded uh, tools, nippers, knife, as well as a full line of mecha decals which are fantastic as well too. So really great stuff. And that's basically going to be the same for all the prize packs. We'll have that, the USA Gundam Store tools and the mecha decals, those will be included with all the prize packs. So from now on, just keep that in mind. A prize is the Master Grade Barbatos. B prize is the Master Grade Dynamis Gundam. C prize is the Real Grade Red Frame and Real Grade Strike Gundam. And D prize is the Real Grade Destiny and the Arc 782 Gundam. So those are gonna be those prizes for you guys. And I'm sure there probably will be a couple more prizes added in. Uh, along the way as well too by myself and I don't know maybe anyone else as well too But I'll let you guys know if there's any other prizes added Let me now finish the video by just letting you guys know how to enter and giving you some advice on entering as well too If you guys haven't watched the feedback videos that we've been doing uh, for feedback uh, For all the entries from the clean versus weathered contest the previous co previous contest Highly recommend you guys go back and watch some of those feedback videos because that'll give you guys a really good insight as to what we're looking for when it comes to judging these contests. So I really recommend you guys do that. Even if you didn't enter in that contest, go back and watch and hear uh, some of the feedback from myself and the other judges regarding the entries and that will really help you guys out a lot I think so uh, We're gonna do it basically if you've ever entered any of my contests before the rules are going to be the same I need an entry email from you guys and in the entry email. Here's what you guys need to include You're gonna send that to Zacharelli's official at gmail.com and then within a week or so you should get a reply email Just saying okay here. I got it. That's all good but again, you know, as always, I, I get a lot of them, so if I don't reply within a couple days, just please be patient. I need your guys' uh, entry email to have the title be 30 Minutes Missions Contest. And then within the email, I don't necessarily need any text, but I need some information within the photograph. So very important to you guys to listen to exactly how to put this photograph, because in the photograph, I need to see the new kit that you're gonna be using for this project. Now, it could be new kits, you know, that you end up using, but at least I need to see that it's a new project that you guys are starting. That's the whole point that this is something new you're making specifically for this contest and not something that you made two years ago. So I need to see not just the box, I need to see the actual parts so you know the box either needs to be open or you know like uh, 
have it, if the kit's just snap built already, that's fine. Uh, but basically without any custom work or without any paint or anything on the kit already. So I need to see that in the photo. And then I also need to see a piece of paper or you can write it on even on the inside of the box or something is fine too. Um, just something that says your name, your country, the date, and which category you plan to enter. So painted or unpainted. I need to see all that information there. Handwritten, not on anything printed or anything like that. So, you know, even if your handwriting's bad, you know, if you feel like your handwriting's bad and I might not be able to read it, then maybe just put it also in text in the email so that I can get that information from you guys. But that's what I need in the photo and hopefully the couple of example photos I put here on the screen for you guys is helpful to see what I'm looking for. But I need to see the kit that is not yet built or that is just simply snap built and no custom work done on it yet. So you send me that entry email with the photograph uh, and all the information I need. I'll reply to you within about a week or so and then you have until the contest deadline on to then re reply to that same email chain please uh, with your final entry photos. The deadline for the contest is going to be August 20th, giving you guys eight weeks to work on this. It's gonna be a pretty short contest. We don't want to have the contest be too long. We want it to be a relatively quick contest. That should also help you guys to not bite off more than you should chew. Keep in mind, you only have eight weeks. It seems like a long time, but it's not that long. So, you know, don't try to build some massive thing combining like 30 different kits together and, you know, getting too crazy about it. We want you guys to, you know, keep it tight, Focus on something that you know you feel very confident about, that you have a good solid idea for, and hopefully that also will give you guys enough time to, you know, if you need to get your hands on some kits or some supplies, or some parts, extra option parts or something like that, that should give you enough time to do that. Uh, but again, we want this contest to be pretty short, relatively short, because then right after this contest ends, we're planning on starting another contest that we already have plans for as well too right after that, but anyway. So just make sure you get your final entries in by August 20th, and what we're looking for from you guys this time is just once again, 10 final photographs, and they need to be, you know, take some wide ones, take some close-up ones, and again, just make sure you don't take the wide ones super wide so that you've got like your kit here and then this whole bunch of empty space over here, you know, wide enough that we can see the full kit, and then also take some close-ups as well too so that we can see it in detail. I would highly, highly recommend you guys to not use a bunch of different poses in the photos, Put your kit in one pose and just leave it there in one pose and take a bunch of photos around it like that. That's the, definitely the best way to do it. I'm not going to make that a requirement. I would just highly recommend you guys to not focus on doing like 10 different poses. Just do one really good solid pose and 10 good photographs of that pose. That would be my recommendation for you, to, for you guys. And again, photography is going to play a part in the judging. Of course, we can't if we can't see the build, then it's hard to judge. So, you know, make sure you got some good lighting. Make sure your photo, photo quality is good enough. And I am also going to ask you guys once again, make sure that when you're emailing your final photos, put the photos in the email, not a link to a Dropbox or something like that, that I have to go get them because it just kind of makes it more hassle for me, especially like right towards the end of the contest, like the last week or two, it's just crazy with a bunch of entries and it's very difficult to do just by myself. So just make it easy for me by putting the photos in, the in your email. Uh, that's the easiest way. If the photos are too big, they don't fit, you can break it up into, you know, two, four, five, ten emails is fine. Uh, it's still going to be easier than having to go to some different site to get the photos. So just please do that. Anyway, then, so once the deadline is passed, uh, give us about a week or so to do the judging for that, and then we will we'll announce the winners. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So I hope this video uh, clears everything up for you guys. But again, if you have questions or anything, do feel free to just get in touch with me. If you're not sure about something, you know, it's better to just ask. I'm always available. You can uh, send a message to me via my Facebook page. It's probably the easiest. If you're not on Facebook, just send a message through email uh, to the email address I provided to you guys. Uh, but just get in touch if you have any questions or concerns about the contest, if there's anything you need clarified. Again, a big thank you to Adam at USA Gundam Store and everyone there for all the awesome work that they do, but uh, for making the contest possible, for making the work that I do possible. Uh, it's really awesome of them, you know, for us to to have this uh, awesome contest that we can do. And we're really looking forward to seeing what you guys come up with for this contest. I think the 30 Minutes Missions line is now getting to the point where they have so much different stuff available. You can really get crazy with your ideas with that. So I uh, hope we see some really cool stuff from you guys. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your patience throughout this long, lengthy explanation video about the contest. But hopefully everything's clear for you guys now. I hope you're all having a great day and good luck on the contest. See y'all later, bye-bye.